Sure he's going to raise with this. He's raised with all the junk cans. Sure does. Makes it 250 to go. Ben behind him. I'm all in. Okay. This is all in. Quick call by Kevin. Well, you can't blame Ben for going all in here. Kevin's got ace jack against the ace to eight. I fold the king eight. 90% of the time tonight, that ace high would have been the best hand against this, Kevin. Now, Ben's got to get very lucky to win this pot. And remember, Zoe folded a king eight, so one of his outs is gone. Action's on him. This time he has ace high. He makes it 160 to go. Now, Ben behind him with a pair of jacks. But he's just going to call. Incredible. He does not re-raise with the jacks. And so going out. Would this be a big mistake by Ben? We will see. And look at this flop of Kevin Eister. How good is this guy running? He flops us straight here. This could spell doom for Ben, the Canadian. Ben checks the over pair. And Eister bets. Going to come out and bet 140. Oh, well, man, and Ben has got the over pair, but just calling. Yeah, does not check raise here like I thought he would with that flop. Here comes the turn. And now a queen comes out. That's an over card. So Ben not going to like that. He's going to check. And here we go. Kevin betting again. And Ben calling again. Down to the river. When a king comes off. Well, Vince, Ben checks again, but that card could save him money. He'll be afraid that Kevin hit a king or a queen here to beat his jacks. Look at this, yeah, Kevin eight, betting 800,000. Man, he's all choked up here right now, but those last two cards could save his life literally in this tournament. I mean, after that flop, it looked like there was no way he wasn't going broke with two jacks here. This would be a nice lay down at this point, and he is, looks like he's... You ain't kid. Gotta do the right thing, let's it go. Well, he does lay it down, but I'm still wowed. He has chips left with two jacks there. Is that Mike, we are watching great action again in South Florida. It always is good at the Seminole Harbor. Oh, you're right, Vince. And just watching these players duke it out and fight with roommates and all the rest just makes you want to get in the game. And the antes are now 15,000, Mike. Blinds are 50 and 100. Here we go. Well, action's on Ben, he's on the button. And looks down at a 10-9 offsuit, but he sees these guys raising every time on the button, so he's going to do it too. 225, Zoe goes out. Kevin Eister, though, with a pretty solid ace nine of spades, making this call. Here comes the flop. Well, Jack three deuce. Kevin's going to check, and here comes a continuation bet by Ben with just 10 high. 250,000. Kevin, well, Kevin makes the call with the ace high. Turn card, deuce of diamonds. Deuce. Yeah, board pairs, Kevin, deuces Kevin. again. Kevin checks. And Ben firing a second shell Kevin, at this pot with no hand, no draw, no nothing. Kevin, and what a call by Kevin here. Call him because he thinks the ace high might be the best hand. In fact, it is. And the last card is a five of diamonds, and Ben just gives up, checks it. If a guy's good enough to call me on the turn, he'll call me on the river. I'm going to save my chips. That's in. But how about those calls by Kevin there to take down that pot? Get him, Nicky! Very strong. Vince, all this guy's doing is stacking chips here. This has just been a one-man band here in this three-handed battle. Swap life. Swap life. And his roommate, Zoe, saying something I don't understand, but looks fun. It's Swamp Life. The guy's from Louisiana, so... Oh, that's what he was saying. Maybe that's his time, Vince. Okay. <laughs> you know, he's a Cajun. That's what they do down there. They get in the swamps. Two roommates in a great position to take back all the money here tonight at the Hard Rock. But with this hand, Zoe quickly folds. Kevin's finally got a real hand here. I'm sure he's going to raise with this. He's raised with all the junk hands. Sure does. Makes it 250 to go. Ben behind him. I'm all in. Okay. This is all in. Quick call by Kevin. Well, you can't blame Ben for going all in here. Kevin's got ace jack against the ace to eight. I fold the king eight. 90% of the time tonight, that ace high would have been the best hand against this, Kevin. Now, Ben's got to get very lucky to win this pot. And remember, Zoe folded a king eight, so one of his outs is gone. Well, I think Ben's thinking back, saying, I should have pushed the jacks. I probably would have won. Little does he know. But here comes the flop. It's a queen three, four. That's not good for Ben Tarzia. Ben's going to have to catch an eight to win this pot. Nothing else is going to do it. They will split the pot if the board paired twice. Here comes the turn. Ooh, it's a 10. Well, we are down to the river. 
Ben Tarzia from Maple, Ontario, Canada, must catch an eight on the river to stay alive in this tournament. Head the board. Head the board. Looks like the ink has dried for the tattoo shop owner. And remember, Zoe threw an eight away, so things are looking very bad for the Canadian. Yeah. 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 Oh my golly! Yeah. A snowman on the river melts away some chips of Kevin Eister there. Wow, the crowd stunned at the river card that came up for Ben there. We need it. That was my favorite hand growing up. Ace eight. Just really gross because I folded. Of 50 and 100,000. Action on Zoe Kareem. Man, looks down at the King Nine of Diamonds. Not a bad hand on the button in a three handed game. So Zoe reaching for raising chips. Yep, he makes it 200,000 to go. Kevin out. And ben with the 6 4 hearts, gonna make the call. Ben Tarzia, good friends with Daniel Negrano, another Canadian. And look at this, he's hit three of a kind. Just a great flop for Ben right there. He checks. Here comes the spider in the web. Zo bets 125. Ben with a huge hand, gonna try to trap, just calling. Oh. Another six comes off, quads for the Canadian. Yep, he checks again. Zo looks up and looks at him and says, I'm slowing down. I'm not betting for you. Zo knows his opponent could have had a straight draw. Now there's no hand he can beat. Doesn't matter what he had. When he called on the flop, he knows that. He quickly gets out of his pot when his opponent bets here. But such a bad river for me. Probably on so many others. The only hand he could have possibly beat was a gut shot straight draw on the flop. But when the eight paired, he made the straight. Nice made the full house. It was. Made something that beat him. Well, Mike, we have truly been enjoying the poker here at the final table of the Seminole Hard Rock Showdown. Kevin now picking up some cards. He was winning pots without cards earlier. Now he's getting some. Yeah, makes it 250 to go. Ben with a little suited connector. We'll speculate, makes this call. Oh, nice flop for Kevin. Ace Jack eight. He's flopped top pair. His opponent's flopped bottom pair. And Kevin will make the continuation bet with the goods. 250,000. Ben doesn't believe him. Well, Ben gonna make the call here with the two eights. Fourth Street will be a seven. Two pair for Ben. Dream card for Ben right there. Well, Kevin's checking in case his opponent might have had a 9-10 also. Well, Ben is going to bet it's a half a million. Well, I don't see Kevin going anywhere with the aces and the queen kicker here. He's making his call, yeah, call. like he should. River card will be. A 10 comes off, so a four card straight on the board. And it goes check, check here. Kevin shows the ace is not good enough as Ben tables the two pair. So the tattoo shop owner, Ben Tarzia, winning back a good one. Zo Kareem with a nice hand, ace queen. Gonna raise it on the button here to 210,000. Kevin out, and Ben with the king queen is gonna call. Lines of 50 and 100. And the flop is an ace king jack. Just a great flop for Zoe. Both players have an ace high straight draw. Ben's got kings, Zoe's got aces, and he's betting. But a quick call by Ben. This could be trouble for Ben. Five of spades on the turn. And Ben checks again. So reaching for betting chips one more time. 380,000 is the bet. 
Look at this. Ben gonna throw it away and show it to him, Vince, which is gonna upset Zoe even more. You're dead to another king. Dead to a king, he said. How do you fold the turn there? How do I fold the turn? Yeah. Like, you're supposed to call and give me at least 375 more. All right, a great hand for Zoe Kareem. Now, remember, Zoe started this final table as the short stack. And remarkably, he still survives with just three players to go. Yeah, Zoe's success at tonight's event reminds me of what we saw poker pro Tommy Vitas accomplish last season here at the Seminole Hard Rock. are back in play. Let's get down to the felt. Well, Ben's got the Jack-8 offsuit. Gonna raise on the button. Makes it 210,000 to go. Zoe Kareem with a quick fold, but Kevin's gonna call with an ace-4, and the flop comes up Jack-10-6. Oh, nice flop for Ben. He's flop top pair here. And he is gonna bet a quarter of a million here after Kevin checks. Kevin hitting none of that. But look at this. He's going to get creative, powering through with a raise. Check raising to 700,000. Oh, Ben's got top pair. Doesn't have a great kicker, but. All right, kid, you win. He's going to fold two jacks here. Now, his opponent didn't re raise before the flop, so you know he doesn't have aces, kings, or queens. I am shocked Ben folded that hand, Vince, to an aggressive player like Kevin Eister. I think that's the first. Mistake Ben has realistically made. This three-handed battle, Kevin Eister well out in front with nearly 9.4 million. And to take down his first WPT title, came to the final table as Chip Peter, still got it. Action on Zoe, quickly folds his hand, puts it on Kevin Eister, who has a miserable looking 4-5. Oh, he just calls Ben, something we haven't seen all night. And because he just called, Ben says, why is this guy calling? He raised with everything, he must not have anything. Let me raise it. Yep, yeah, Ben's gonna raise with a king nine. He's got position on Kevin. Yeah, that makes it 325,000 to go, but Kevin doesn't go away. He wants to see a flop first. And what a flop it is for Kevin. Six, five, three. Kevin's got a pair and an open end straight draw, and he checks. Oh, nice check behind him. Ben just staring him down and checks right behind him. No continuation bet, but look at this. Ben hits the Kings. Well, Kevin checks again. Oh, no, I don't like this check, though. Wow. I can't believe it. Now an eight comes off. And Kevin's gonna think he has the best hand. I'd bet too if I was him. I think my opponent had ace high. He proudly turns up a two fives, but they're no good as his opponent turns up kings. So Ben Tarzia from Canada gonna take down that pot. But that was a little bit of a surprise to Kevin, as you can see. He thought the guy had ace high. All right. Three-handed poker continues. Winner going to take home over 660,000. Action on Ben, getting a little frustrated, folds his hand. Ben folds. And now Zoe Kareem has picked up aces. Oh, wow. Now Zoe will make it 215,000 and pray that he gets action from his roommate, Kevin. That's a pretty decent king-queen. Who's going over the top? He's getting action, all right. He's getting three bet, up to 485,000. Oh, look at this grimacing. It's the show tunes going off in Zoe's head, yet he's he's acting. Well, Vince, he wants to make a raise where his opponent can't really afford to lay his hand down, meaning he's not going to make a large raise here because he doesn't want Kevin to go anywhere. You would think sometimes a guy wants to just play it a little slower, disguise it, and just call. Yeah, he could just call. But he's not going to. He's going to make that nice little gentle raise, as we like to say. He's raising 330000 here with a million in the pot. Just a brilliant play by him in my mind. And Kevin calls it. He's got the fish hooked. 
And we're going to flop it. Oh, he could really be hooked now, Vance. Yep. As it comes, king, five, three. Kevin has flopped top pair, but Zoe has the only over pair of the two aces that's got him beat. Oh, and he's going to massage a bet of 685000 into his roommate, buddy. Insta call, of course, by Kevin. Kevin and we're going to the turn. This could get very expensive. This could be a great double up for Zoe. Let's see. Ten of spade comes off. That is perfect for Zoe. Everything working out just fine. All in. All in. He's going all in here, fearful his opponent might have a diamond draw. I'll call. Whoa, boy. He gets a quick call. Well, he's hoping he had the kings. That's exactly the case. Oh. And with one card to go, Kevin must catch a king or a queen to win this pot. Zoe knows he'll take the chip lead after starting out in sixth place if his aces hold up here. Wow. What a spot for Zoe. They made queens. It's just, it's just for that. Big moment for Zoe. Big chance to double up. But if the miracle should be pulled off by Kevin, if he hits a king or a queen, Zoe would be out in third place. Unlikely to happen, but you never know. A queen. Unbelievable. Wow. Zoe gets two aces. He played the hand perfectly. He got outdrawn on the river. I called it, brother. I called your eight and I called your queen. Zoe finally goes, but Vince they had to crack two aces to get him out of here. Tough luck for Zoe right there. He'll be a third place finisher, and he'll be thinking about that hand for a long time, Vince. Devastating defeat there. What a river card. Zoe will take home $252,000. He's got to be a little depressed as he walks over to Matt Savage, our WPT Executive Tournament Director. So a tough way to go, starting off with aces and losing that hand has to be very tough. But you lost it to your friend. Now, how does that change the dynamic with you playing against your friend? Uh, I really don't think it changed it too much. Um, I mean, we're both playing to win, so we know that. I mean, this is just a game. We're going to be friends off the felt regardless, so uh, it's just how it goes. You can hang around oh, sweat, Kevin. Happen. Of course. All right, congratulations. as we start out heads up play. Kevin Eister with over 13 million in chips. Ben Tarzia with just over 3 million in chips. So a healthy chip lead by the youngster Kevin Eister. All right, and he's a 20,000, Mike. Blind 60, 120. Here we go. Action on Ben. He's got the button. He's got 9, 10. He's going to get aggressive and raise. Makes it 250 to go. But right behind him, one-eyed Eister. He lost his contact lens. So he says he's only seeing out of one eye. He's got ace queen. Well, he sees enough to re raise right here. Makes it 650,000 to go. Ben quickly goes out. So Kevin extends his chip lead. Yep, Kevin out of Lafayette, Louisiana. Only 23 years old. With a chance of a lifetime to be a champion on the WPT. On to the second hand of heads up action. Kevin this time with a nothing hand, just a 510. Will raise, makes it 240 to go. Come on. Wow, Ben moving all in here with the queen jack. I mean, Kevin has a junk hand. He's got to throw it away, of course. But what a bold play by Ben. I think he realizes he's going to have to play big pots against this guy to beat him. He's not going to beat him playing small ball. Uh, he is bringing out the pins and needles and tattooing his man with just queen high. Super aggressive. Just incredible. Ben says he was a suit for 20 years. A sales executive, he got rid of that lifestyle, opened up a tattoo shop, loves his life, has four kids, loves the family, Where is it? and loves playing poker. Well, he's got ace deuce this time. He's making it 2-6 to go. Kevin behind him with a call. King nine, we're going to see a flop. Ace deuce versus king nine, and the flop is a jack 10-3. 
Kevin's got a gut shot straight draw, and look at this. He's leading right into the pre-flop raise events. Kevin bets. 280,000, and Ben throwing his hand away. So a nice bet there by Kevin to take down Woo! that pot. Well, One-eyed Eister certainly can't see because he didn't have much there. Bets nevertheless, and he will take this one down. Well, he has been aggressive and overly aggressive all night long, and it certainly paid off for him. Look at this, an ace just like that, and a 10 of clubs. Big hand for Kevin, he's gonna raise. Makes it 240 to go. Into Ben, has a pair of sevens. I'm all in. Gonna ship it here, I don't blame him. I'd do the same thing. I call. And there he does it. I think you have to call in this spot with this chip count, no doubt about it. We got a race situation. Kevin wins the race, he'll be our champion. If Ben wins it, he'll be a force to be reckoned with, perhaps. And there is Ben's cousin. Well, in my mind, this is a great thing for Ben to get in a race situation where he can double up and have substantial chips if he wins the pot. Still won't have the chip lead, but be right in the thick of things. All right, five cards to come. Can Ben Tarzia get lucky? Flop. Ace five deuce, the ace hits, one on Eister. He's out in front with aces. But Ben has a flush draw. So if a heart comes up, Ben would make a flush and win this pot. He needs a seven or a heart to stay alive in the tournament. Turn card coming up. Can he hit his heart? No, it's a five of clubs. So Ben must catch a seven or a heart to stay alive in this tournament. Otherwise, Kevin Eister will be our champion. Heart, heart, heart. Can Eister do it? And the river card. It is a, ten of a 10 comes off aces and 10s for Kevin Eister. Now the Cajun takes it down. Kevin Eister with his first WPT title came to the final table as chip leader, took home the trophy. Hugs and tears at this final table as Kevin is the champ. Well, Ben, unfortunately, you didn't get to add your name to that Champions Cup, but I do feel like there's two winners here tonight. What are your thoughts? Absolutely. I, I couldn't be more pleased with the results. Um, he's a great player. I'm just happy to be here and happy to have a chance to play with these guys. So, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, nothing's lost. Believe me, nothing's lost here. Well, I'm sure you did your family proud tonight. Mike, over to you. Your name is now going to be inscribed forever on this WPT yeah. Champions yeah. Cup. Yeah. Congratulations, we'll see you at the WPT World Champion. Amanda, back to you.